And the early Christians, as Christianity spread from being a Jewish-centric movement to being a multi-ethnic movement because of the day of Pentecost, you had Gentiles, Greek-speaking believers who said, ah, come on, we, we, we can find a Greek word for this. We're Greeks. Let's find a Greek word for this, you know. Like my big fat Greek wedding. Sorry, I got all kinds of uh, <laughs> rabbit trails I will not take. <laughs> it's a kimono. Anyway, okay. <laughs> it's come from, yeah, okay. And so they say, they said, well, let's find this one. And they found one word, and the word meant, this is it. They found one Greek word for amen, and the word meant That is not incorrect. (laughs) Imagine praying, oh, Lord, come and show your power. Rescue Peter from prison in Jesus' name. That is not incorrect. (laughs) It's it's kind of weak. So it's like, that's the wrong one. Can't use that one. And I found another Greek word. And the word roughly translated means, would that it were so. Or let it be. I wish it were true. May it be. Let it be. <laughs> so, Lord, we pray that you would give us this day our daily bread and rescue us from the devil. In Jesus' name, let it be. You're like, better. Still not. <sighs> and finally, they decided we can't find a substitute for the Hebrew word amen because the Hebrew word amen is not let it be or may it be or would that it was so or that is not incorrect. The Hebrew word amen just means It is so. It is. It carries with it certainty and confidence. It's why Eugene Peterson, when paraphrasing it, just decided to say, yes, yes, yes. That's the best we can do with this word. None of you all know the Hebrew word for no. If I say, what's the Hebrew word to say no? You're like, no clue. What's the Hebrew word for yes? Amen. Amen. You already know. You already know. 